RJ with Tai Chi for you. So we have a beautiful day here. Spring is it's here, even though the calendar doesn't, doesn't say so. So we're gonna have our newbie class today in this beautiful weather. And today we're gonna be looking at balance. So I think it's kind of funny that in Tai Chi Chuan, a lot of the postures have very poetic names. <laughs> such as grass the sparrow's tail, part the wild horse's mane, wave hands like clouds. But today, we're going to be learning kick with the heel and punch to the ears with both fists. So, it starts out in our mountain climbing stance. We'll place our hands on our hips. And to go over mountain climbing stance again, we're stepping with the left foot forward, in this case, we have some space between the legs, and I have to give this angle here because you'll notice that the front leg has a nice bend to the to the knee. The back leg has a bend to it as well, but a little bit less. We have some distance between the feet. We have a nice straight back. From this angle here, what you want is you want that front toe to face forward and now I want you to imagine yourself in a square room so that front toe faces the flat part of the wall your back toe however is going to face toward that front corner and the reason we want that back foot angled out is for a couple reasons we don't want to hurt the knee so that's a good position for the foot to be in and also we're in a stronger stance so we always want that back foot angled out. So this is our beginning in mountain climbing stance with our hands on our hips. Now what we're going to do is take that back leg and we're just going to step in to the other foot, but on the toe. So we just go from here, we step in and rest on the toe. Now what's gonna happen with the hands is the hands are gonna cross in front of the body. Now, whatever leg is forward, that same hand will be on top. So when we cross, because our left leg is forward, the left hand will be on top as we cross the, the, the arms. So we step in on that back leg, on the toe, and our hands cross. So again, from mountain climbing stance, we just step forward on the toe and the hands cross. Now all you need to do is bend the elbows, keeping the two hands connected, just bend the elbows to bring the hands up high. From here, just open up the arms, separate them. The two hands are going to push in opposite directions. So the left hand, which again, when we started here, we had the left leg forward and the left arm was on top. So now we raise up, that left arm is going to push forward towards the flat part of the wall. The other hand is going to push towards that corner of the room. All right, so let me explain that again. So from our mountain climbing stance, the back foot steps up, the same leg and the same hand is on top. So the left leg is forward, the left hand goes on top. We bend at the elbows to just raise up the arms. We separate the two hands now that left hand pushes forward towards the flat part of the wall, the other hand moves to the corner of the room. So just focus on the left hand. The left leg is forward, the left hand goes on top, that same hand presses to the flat part of the wall. So we go here, focusing on the left hand, Open the left hand to the flat part of the wall. So we have the left leg, the left arm on top. 
and the left presses to the flat part of the wall. So again, we step up, the hands cross, we raise the arms, we open up, and the two hands press out. Now what's going to happen is at the same time, <clears throat> before the hands press out, you're going to raise that back leg. And then we're going to kick down with the heel. So what we're doing is we're flexing the foot, pulling the foot back, so we're kicking with the heel. So again, from this position, that back leg steps up, it raises, and now you flex the foot and kick with the heel rather than the toe. So we flex the foot, so we kick with the heel. That foot's gonna come back and rest on the toe to give us balance. So again, from here, mountain climbing, we step, cross in the arms, raise the two hands, and just open up. That foot comes up, we flex the foot and kick low. At the same time, <laughs> we're pressing out. So what's happening is, that left hand goes to the flat part of the wall, the right hand goes to that corner above the leg. So the leg and the foot are going to that corner. The hand is going forward, but the leg is kicking straight down. So let's go over that a couple of times. The hands cross as we step in. We raise the arms at the elbow. We open. That leg raises up. We kick low as the hands press out. So from here, the hands cross. We raise the arm, just bending at the elbow. So you're not raising at the shoulder. Just bend at the elbow. Open up. The hands, and we kick low. From here, we just come back with the foot and rest on the toe. Now the two hands are simply gonna go by the waistline, so they're palm upwards, anywhere around the belt line. They're palm upwards, but now make two fists. So from here, we press, and we come back and making two fists. Now we're going to step to that corner of the room with the right leg. We step into mountain climbing stance. Now what's going to happen is <clears throat> our arms are going to make a circular movement. And I'll give you this angle here. So from the waist, the hands will circle. I'm kind of exaggerating this, but they're making an arc, a circular movement right around to the top of the head, head area. Because this posture is called punch to the ears with both fists. So you can imagine that. We're coming up and we're here. Big arc. In mountain climbing stance, we make a circular movement. So we'll take it from the beginning in our mountain climbing stance, left leg is forward. We step up and cross the arms. Bend at the elbows. We open up. We kick low. The foot comes back in. We make two fists. We step to that corner of the room. Into mountain climbing stance and we punch high. Now when you do this punching, what you want to look at is the first finger. You want to look at that knuckle. You want that knuckle to be, if you
you had a target, you want that knuckle to be striking the target. So in other words, you don't want to be bending the wrist like this. You want to imagine that that first finger, that knuckle, Here, we step up and cross the arms. Raise the elbows, open up, kick low, but press outwards. The palms are face up by the belt line. Make two fists. Step to that corner into mountain climbing stance and we can punch. Now from here, we can place our hands on our hips and just repeat the other side. So we're gonna be moving towards that flat part of the wall now. So now, just like before, whatever leg is forward, that arm is gonna be on top when we cross the arms. So the right leg is forward. When we step up with that back toe, the right arm is on top. So we step up crossing the arms. Now everything just stays the same. We bend at the elbows, we open up. Now this time, the left hand is gonna move to the flat part of the wall, and the other hand will move to that corner of the room as we kick towards the flat part of the wall, or the flat part of the room. We come back on the toe, Hands go by the hips and make two fits. We step to the flat part of the room into mountain climbing stance and punch to the ears with both fits. Now, if you're struggling with a little bit of a balance issue, what you can do is you can stand near a wall. And so you can practice placing one hand on the wall as the other hand reaches out and kicks low. So you can stand a little bit away from the wall just with the fingertips. So when you come up, just your fingertips are catching that wall to provide extra support for balance. So your hand probably don't actually need to be flat on the wall, but maybe just a couple of fingers to help with the balance until the leg gets stronger. You can also have a chair here. If you have a nice stable chair that's not on wheels, a nice stable chair, you can place your hand on the chair as the other hand kicks low. I'm sorry, the other leg kicks low as you press out. <coughs> so now, after you've been practicing this a while, what you're probably going to notice is, when you go back to the beginning of this film, when I was demonstrating, you're probably going to notice I was doing something different with my hands. So what's happening is, when I step up like this, my hands cross, I raise my hands just, just like we've been doing. Now I keep my two hands connected at the wrist. But what I do is, as my bend at the elbows, I turn my wrist. So my palms face me, but again, keep your arms at the wrist connected, but as you raise the elbows, turn the wrist at the same time. Now I separate my arms and my palms are still facing me, and then I turn so the palm outwards as I kick. So that's something you can add later. From here I would cross my hands. I come up, turning the wrist at the same time, open, and then kick. <clears throat> so from here, crossing, and then kick. Now for those of you that have good balance and some flexibility, you can also come in Bring the leg way up high and kick out. 
the, the hand is above the leg, and then you can come in, maintaining that balance, right into mountain climbing stance. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that again. From here, stepping in, bringing the leg way up, kicking with the heel, maintaining the balance, strike to the edge of both fists. So again, take it slow, let that muscle build up in the legs, and I hope you enjoy this video. So until next time, leave me comments, subscribe, take care.